good morning, y'all. So, portion control is not the problem. Now, why do I say that? Now, I say that knowing that to say such such a thing is probably controversial. Um, I probably get some people to dispute with me on that, and I, I welcome that. But portion control is not the problem for the large majority of people, in my opinion. So the question is, what do I believe the problem is? So from my experience, from my own personal practices, from my personal training experience and observation, the problem is not how much you're eating. The problem is what you're eating. So check this out. And this is like a real point I find of confusion in our society as it pertains to weight loss. And it is also um, a reason, I believe, for our obesity and overweight epidemic. So, you know, it used to be more so that if you were overweight, it was because you ate too much food. Okay. It used to be more so that was the cause. But now, I don't believe that's what we're dealing with, yo. I believe that the reason that most of us are dealing with with being overweight, obese, having issues with getting that weight off is because of the type of food that we're eating. So, you know, again, you know, we used to associate or we're accustomed to associating obesity and overweight with gluttony, but a lot of times it's not an issue. That's why so many of us are like, I don't really eat that much. So like, why am I dealing with this extra weight? And so this is why it's because it's not that you're being a glutton. It's it's not that. It's because of the type of food that you're eating. The type of food that you're eating is doing things inside of your body and it's addictive. So you keep on, it, it makes it hard to not keep on coming back to it. Now, so if you're about my age, around my age, or maybe a little younger, like maybe 30, just 30s and up, then you probably remember when we used to install programs on our computers using like CD-ROM. And so if you recall that, you recall like I do, how you would take a CD and you would put it inside of your computer. Of course, these days, computers don't even really have CD drives like anymore. But you take a CD, put it inside of your computer, and then an auto run sequence will be initiated. So, you know, your, your computer start breathing, you know, the fans and stuff start running and lights start beeping. And then next thing you know, a window pops up on your computer, you know, with um, showing that some sort of installation sequence has started, you know, files start to get downloaded from the CD to your computer. And then at some point the computer installs the, the files and, and all that kind of good stuff. So, that's kind of how food is when we eat it. So for example, even me drinking my morning coffee here, when I drink this, even before I even reaches my mouth, to be honest, but once I, once I start to drink that, a whole sequence of things gets initiated. For example, I begin to salivate because of things happening in my brain whenever it anticipated me drinking the coffee. My heart rate, will probably increase, you know, the little caffeine in there. Um, digestive juices kind of start going and so on and so forth. So many things just kind of start happening like that. It's automatically because of this input into my body. Now, one of the things that happens when we consume food, especially depending on the kind of food we eat, is hormonal activity. Specifically, the hormone insulin is produced, which is produced by our um, pancreas, is secreted by the pancreas in response to um, sugary or starchy food. And so, what happens is your body does not like sugar, or it does it like sugar in the bloodstream. You know, in particular, in high amounts, is not good. And your body also recognizes sugar as an energy source. And so, you know, carbohydrates is kind of like what I'm talking about. So very sugary, very starchy foods. What happens is once you begin to consume those, 
your pancreas starts to secrete insulin into your bloodstream. That hormone insulin is, I've heard people describe it as like a key to the cells of your body. And it, it opens the cells of your body to allow this sugar in the form of glucose into them. So like into your liver, into your muscles, and into your fat cells. Okay. And so it's, the more sugary or starchy food you consume, uh, and even the quality of that, the more insulin is secreted, which means the more that stuff gets stored into your um, into your body cells, including your fat. So this is why it's not just a matter of calories in, calories out. It's not always, it's not often in our day and age a matter of portion control. Portion control has its place. But I believe, and hear me, I believe that portion control is a secondary thing for most of us. After you've begun to eat a diet that's not full of sugary, starchy junk food, okay? Because we're portion controlling on addictive junk food, sugary, starchy junk food, which is hard enough in and of itself, but also we're not thinking about or not knowledgeable of the fact that you're still consuming foods that are causing these rapid kind of things to happen in your bloodstream, you know, or in your body, I mean to say. And, you know, that's why your weight is lingering. So you're better off not necessarily portion controlling those kind of foods. You're better off either eliminating them altogether or eating them in moderation, not eating them so often that you have to portion control them. That's why I'm not a big fan of all these packaged products like the 100 calorie packs and this thing and that thing that say lower calories because it kind of misses the point. You really want to be focusing on real food first. And I am a big believer, if you actually eat real food, then that's going to fill you up faster anyway, where you don't have to like exercise some sort of higher level of self-control where you're not even really full because you're eating processed food, but you have to kind of limit yourself and then somehow kind of hold off while still being hungry. Like it's nothing wrong being satiated. It's harder to be satiated with junk food. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I say, um, I don't know about this portion control stuff, at least not as like a primary thing. It's not primary. The main thing is to eat real food. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this little coffee moment, this morning coffee has been helpful. So yeah, let me uh, finish my coffee and get on with my day, y'all. Y'all have a good one. If you like this content, you might also be interested in one of my books. Learn how you can take steps literally today to successfully manage, control, and overcome common issues such as high blood pressure, diabetes, and belly fat. It's all about putting power back in your hands to improve your own health. Get your book copy today by the links in the description or by visiting seanmcclennan.com forward slash books. Also. Don't forget, hit the like button and subscribe and join my email list at seanmcclendon.com forward slash subscribe.